Hi guys, welcome to a new video. Let's just ignore the spots I have on my chin. I will point them out because, um, yeah, that's just how I am. Anyway. Today, I was going to cheat with this video. I'm not going to lie to you folks. This was going to be a cheat video. I was going to upload a video I created in 2019. Uh, if you were unaware, I've actually not had just one YouTube channel. This is my second. Well, technically it's my third because I have a vlogging channel as well that I don't really use. But I absolutely love. That was so out of tune. Anyway. Um, I started making videos in like 2017. On a channel that had a different name to this one. Because Troy Thompson isn't my birth name. But that's like yada yada yada. Anyway. I still have... The majority of those videos um because there was a reason i made them and i am a storer of memories just who i am okay love just who i am um so i was going to upload the video where i had nose job um because it kind of seemed fitting with last week's video i went to go look at it and just add in the bit like this is an old video i haven't changed my hair and I, yada 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 and then i looked at it and i was like i I watched like two seconds of it and I was like, I can't upload that. <laughs> um, we are going to watch it together. So we're going to react to my video where I got my nose job done. I wanted to put that out there because there's really important information in this nose job. And I think it's important to share experiences, um, especially on things people may or may not be debating doing to their body. I've got a video all about the coil on this channel. You can go check that out. Um and my experiences. Subcontext, I had something called a camo nose job back in 2019. I, like I said in my other video, have broke my nose a few times. First of all, absolutely smashing it and doing some very chunky chunky damage to it. They offered me a full nose job and something called a camo job. It was about 95% foolproof. Um, and... I took it because I thought you know actually it's less invasive it had really good stats on it in the sense of how reliable it was um, and yeah it had short recovery time so it was like yeah no scars on the outside basically so it was logical uh, obviously I am still in the need of a nose job so you know Chloe present knows that was a bad choice let's watch this video it's technically 15 minutes long so I'm probably going to cut out the medical side of it because I've just spoke you through it but we're just going to see what the contents of this video is and also look at my face so I'll go. My intro is adorable by the way, I'm going to have to turn this down because it's definitely going to overlap. Hey guys and welcome to a new video that really Um First of all, I honestly and genuinely believed so my face was not puffy at this point. <laughs> what a joke! So I'm now the title. I've had my nose fixed and I If you can't tell by the title, I've had my nose fixed. If you also couldn't tell by how puffy and sinusy I sound, I've had my nose fixed. I also haven't had my nose fixed because that looks better in that video than it does right now. Like, my nose is not straight. It's not been straight since I smashed it. Um, but <laughs> I don't think you needed the thumbnail or the title, honey. So I would explain because when I put this on my Instagram story that I was getting my nose fixed, so many people who didn't even know me were like, you're fine, like, stop being so dramatic. Like, it's wrong to have something fixed because you don't like look a bit like just like embracing everything. I did when I posted I had a nose job on Instagram. There was people who didn't know me who were like, you're beautiful, you're lovely, you're, you're really good, you shouldn't change. Like, how you feel about yourself, yada, yada, yada. Right, that's grand, but I didn't do it because I didn't, I cared what someone thought of me. I done it because I wanted to and I needed it and I don't like operations, so I built up enough guts to do it. Um, yeah, like, I'm all for people telling me, oh, you're really pretty, you don't need that done, that's great. But even if I don't need it done, if I want it done, I should be able to have it done without feeling like someone's going to bombard me with, oh, oh. Also, can we just talk about my hair quickly? Uh, I jump between wanting to be blonde and brown. I am now 
brunette again. This is my natural colour. But I still, I still jumped wanting to be blonde still. This is kind of putting me off it because look how short it is because it just died. It just bleached it. Okay with it. Although I didn't like the look of my nose, it wasn't because that's how I was like had my nose when I was a child. Like my nose was straight when I was younger. And basically I broke my nose a couple of times and I had really, really fudged it up. It was a bit all over the place and I'll try and put a picture here snapshot of me um my nose was really bent like really bent there was a blockage uh, on one side of my nasal passage and also i had no structure on one side of my nose so basically every time i breathed in it collapsed and meant i couldn't breathe in properly or fully so i genuinely just couldn't breathe very well before have my nose fixed I still can't breathe very well at the minute because i'm two weeks no 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 not even two weeks but a week and a bit after having my nose done and i'm so surprised i have really bounced back really fast um i did film basically little bit on Sorry, the, days the first like, four days of having my nose done because after that i felt honestly fine like i didn't really have any problems except for i still can't feel my front teeth it's just something I think I say a lot, and the top of my mouth probably, and I can't feel my top lip. Uh, oh, I really can't move it very much. And that is purely... I cannot explain to you the, the how much I hated that sensation. I cried. So I wasn't in pain, like, after a chunk, like, the four days. But I cried so much because I couldn't feel my face. And it's a horrible sensation. I might have gone in op at 12 and came out at 2, so don't quote me on either of those. I came out of op and I don't remember the first hour and a half. I remember very, very small, small bits of it, but apparently I was fine when I woke up. I was happy and I just wanted to get out of my bed. That's such a lie. Chloe just lied. Bareface, like, I've just chopped a big bit out because I've just, I've explained what I've had done and everything. I have never been happy when I've come around from anaesthetic in my life my mum has been there for both times I've only done it twice and both times I've been a bloody nightmare I don't cope well under anaesthetic I do not cope well waking up from anaesthetic I am a nightmare a nightmare I was 18 so I was meant to be on my own they actually had to call my mum in to sit with me because I was thrashing around the bed I don't remember it like I do not remember it me coming around from anaesthetic I just think I'm fine I've just woke up like I've just woke up from a nap and I will try and leave I will try and get out the bed I will try and move and I'll try and do things like you your legs don't work uh, I'm awful that was a bare face lie for this um so i'm very proud of myself for remembering that in a state of complete out of face but i don't remember the first video but here it is this though i am genuinely interested in these are the videos of me straight when i go home this is me off my tits i don't remember it, it. The worst possible body. i don't care you can't hear it I was so out of it. <laughs> this is the day of the off, I believe. Um, I had that cast on my face. It was awful. The orange stuff is not bruising. It is a solution that is an antiseptic agent, I believe. I got a month from this. I couldn't wash my face for a week. It was awful. Yep, I look. Awful. Still do. In this video. I think I slept so well that night though. Oh because I was on a heck of a painkiller. So much painkiller. Um, day two wasn't very much better. I felt better in myself a bit, but not very much better. And yeah, I'll show you the rest of the videos. So it's down to my arm. 
and the pain has finally caught with me. I am in a ridiculous amount of pain. My nose is starting to hurt. I don't know if you can see. I'm like acting surprised that my nose is hurt. Like my nose is starting to hurt. You just had it. Like I had stitches like all the way up the back. Of course it hurts. Look at that face. Like I. <laughs> You can see how much, like, I got spots, and you can see the swelling here, and that's all the blood. Oh, like, my bottom lip looks great. <laughs> it's solid. Uh, the roof of my mouth and the UT teeth you can't see uh, are still completely dark. I honestly couldn't move my face. Like, it didn't just look like a nose job. It looked like I had like a facelift because I was like, yeah, like I just can't use anything and I just couldn't open my mouth fully. Sunday and oh my god, I feel so much better. So much better than my nails. I've had like a really rocky like sleep recently though that is basically the whole video the rest is me just chatting for like five minutes so i'm not gonna bother putting that in but i did have a nose job five years ago it did fail um i do actually want to put information in this and this is said section if you are getting a nose job or looking at getting a nose job please just go for it just do the whole thing don't debate if you're going to have a half-hearted job even if the success rate is high go the full mile get everything you need done because honestly i need a new nose job a second one but i'm a bit traumatized that was a horrible experience i absolutely hated it i did not enjoy a single aspect of having my nose done um so yeah i can't breathe properly i am eligible on the nhs to have another nose job but unfortunately, it's just not something I see happening anytime soon. So please, if you're going to have a nose job, do your research, work out what's best for you, work out what you want from it. Is it a breathing aesthetic? And just do the full thing. It's traumatic, personally. I'm not someone who can do operations or sedation. So it is so much better just to go for it. So yeah. If you want to see me react to more of my old videos, because I have loads oh, I don't know what happened to my face when I said loads please let me know because I probably will regardless if you want me to um because I love some of my videos and I am definitely a different person there's a reason I deleted my old YouTube channel and it is because I used YouTube as a therapy um instead of enjoying what I was putting out it was an escape in not always the healthiest of terms where I just was like I'm just gonna do this and I'm just gonna pretend everything else doesn't exist and this channel I have now is about me really enjoying what I do and really so as you can probably tell my camera broke I don't know what happened to it um I'm currently charging it and looking into it it just came up with a warning error sent me to my sim card or oh, what not sim card SD card anyway that is all the video I hope you enjoyed it yes there's definitely something missing um, can I remember what I was saying? Not really. Just that I'm going to probably react to more videos because I enjoy it. That's about as much as I've got, isn't it, lovely? So have a lovely day. I'll see you next week with another video. Um, and let's all hope that my camera's okay because I'm actually going to cry if it's not. Uh, yeah.